All right, everybody guy knows that when you're replacing a quarter panel, you gotta get rid of the spot welds. And most of them are used to the old style drilling out spot welds. That takes forever. And you gotta drill a pilot hole with a smaller drill bit and then switch over to a specialty bit that says that is for uh, the spot weld itself. And it takes a lot of time. Um, I'm going to show you a quick way to do it right now. I've got some of them pre-drilled and this tool I'm using is called, I won't focus right now, well, it's called an Onyx Astro 3037 air belt sander, half inch by 18 inch. So, uh, yeah, my camera's not focusing, but it makes it really quick and easy. Basically, I'll go after this spot weld right there. to that and you just go back behind there put the screwdriver and it comes apart just like that quick and simple I've already done them so back behind there just like that then you drilled through, there's no hole there, no hole, it's all solid. And you go to put your repair panel on and that's all you gotta do. You basically drill out the ones on the repair panel, which I haven't done yet. But, uh, yeah, then you just drill the ones out here and the holes that are there weld straight to it. Simple as that. Alright, part two. This uh, is the panel. You can see I've already drilled out the spot welds on here. Um, same as the old style, or the typical way of doing it. Um, this is my donor panel for that vehicle. Um, so, first part of the video showed you how to use the uh, Onyx. 3037 um, air sander, air belt sander uh, for the old panel. You did that there. Um, second half of the deal is you drill out all the spot welds, um, which I've done here, both sides. I just took a torch to get the panel bond, get that melted off, and uh, scraper and scrape all that off. Um, makes it a little easier to get back behind the your uh, donor panel use a screwdriver and pop the rest of it out um, so yeah that's about it uh, once I get this little piece out and uh, show you all to zip it back on all right this is part three um, basically passed mock-up and I got it welded and partially ground down uh, up here this will all get filled in body filler um, I might take that top this down a little bit more but that's about it it's uh, pretty easy this seam right here will get covered in panel sealer and I took a little more. There was a huge gap right here. I uh, took too much off of this side and didn't leave enough on that side. So that's why that solid weld is there. That'll get ground down and smoothed out. And see down here. Not much light down here, but 
um, spot welds were all drilled out on the donor panel and then on the vehicle side they were ground out with that belt sander I showed you in part one um, and you just come back in and weld in the spot welds same thing back here oh. Weld inside the spot welds, grind them down, fill them out, make them nice and smooth, just like that. Smooth them out, and you got your patch panel put in. Um, one thing you want to make sure is as you're doing this and tacking everything down, you make sure that your seam jam line is even all the way down. Um, I got a nasty dent here on the handle to fix, so that's why this gap is larger than this nice smooth flush part. Um, so I'll work on that dent and after that um, we'll sand down the silver panel with 600 I know some say you can um, get away with 400, but I go to 600 and sometimes 800 and then paint over it and I'm still using catalyzed paint. I'm not into the waterborne yet. So when we get waterborne in our shop, I will show you how to do that.